Notifications. They are disruptive, they grab our attention, and above all, they are everywhere. They're a real bummer, but at the same time, they're critical if you don't want to miss anything important. Instant messaging is one of the worst offenders. It's written on the tin, it's supposed to be instant. In real life, even if we have our phones with us, we can't react to notifications immediately. You're watching Matrix Live, and today we're going to talk about how one Matrix client is taking a new approach to let you breathe. My guest today is Losange, one of the maintainers of Cine, along with Ajay. He's here to talk about the latest major release, and more particularly about the Notification Center. Losange, welcome. Hello, thank you. Uh, my name is Christian, and people also know me as Lozeng. And I'm here to talk about the Cine V4 update today. So let's get it started. Fantastic. So some people might not know what Cine is. Can you describe the project in a few sentences? Yeah, of course. Uh, so Cine is basically a matrix client. Uh, you can use it on web. You can use it on desktop. I also use it on mobile as a PWA all the time. So it's available on all of the platform mostly. Cine is very polished to me. It's one of the most polished clients out there, I would say. Um, and there are two things I I love very much about it. Uh, the first one is the way you manage spaces. And the second one is the way you manage notifications. So let's focus on spaces first. Uh, the one feature I already knew about and loved was uh, space flattening. So in matrix, spaces can be nested indefinitely. You can create a space and another space and add the second one into the former and etc. repeat that indefinitely. Um, these can lead to very long nestings that I personally find very impractical. I know some people out there love them because they use that to get organized, but I think it gets in the way for me. Uh, so Cine does space flattening. Can you tell us how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we initially had the space flattening alongside with the nesting. So we used to have a different like kind of a button for enabling the flattening. But you know, we saw that most of the user, including ourselves, were using the flattening options. So we made that default and removed the, the other one like nesting. So now you just see the subspaces as a category inside the main space. So this makes navigation really simple and you know keep things more organized. Okay, so it's it's looking a bit like uh, what Discord is doing. In Discord, you have a server, which is what corresponds to a space in Matrix. Uh, when when as seen uh, is in Cine, and in the servers, you get the various categories, and this is how the flattened subspace look like uh, in Cine at the moment. So since Cine four, uh, there there is now a lobby for spaces. So what what is it, and what can I use it for? Yeah, so so lobby is basically a. Uh... A revamp, a revamp version of the explore exploring the space section. We used to have like a, a subspaces rooms in inside the uh, space exploring option, but now they are named as a lobby. You know, we we were looking for a name for for that part of the of the app, and there was one like we were thinking to call it home, but there are already often rooms inside home. So we came up with this lobby, which actually, you know, really fit into the rooms and spaces, you know, names. So, so this is basically for managing all of the subspaces in the rooms, and you can like uh, rearrange rooms inside the lobby. You can, uh, you can like, uh, you don't have to get go to the subspaces to remove the room from the subspace and add it to another. You just click on a room and just put it anywhere inside the lobby. Okay, so the lobby, um, so we, between the lobby and the subspaces flattening, um, really Cine is considering a, a root space to be a community of its own, like and something you manage in a single centralized place. It's very cool. I, I really like what Cine is doing in terms of trying to um, aggregate things in a single place when when it makes sense instead of, of having the information scattered yeah, because, over the place. You know, uh, the nesting don't really work when you when you are you know chatting in a community. Mm -hmm. I, I was, uh, you know, I remember once uh, in, I think, uh, there was this uh, thing going on the metrics and they had these nested rooms inside the, inside too much deep that 
when you have to go back to the main space, you have to do through so so many clicks that you know you don't know actually where are you at now. So so that was the, like your time when we decided that we we're gonna remove this older system and gonna gonna do the flattening of the space. All right, and I could see in the change log that you also mentioned uh, that you redesigned the explore community section. Uh, can you tell me more about it? Is it different from the lobby? No, no, no. The, the explore community is like of a of a area where you can explore the explore the spaces or rooms that are on a on a server or or on a different servers. So it's kind of exploring new communities, like exploring new spaces. You want to find like uh, more spaces about Linux or something different. You can find out from the explore section to join to join those rooms. So it's it's more of like making the the spaces or rooms of the server visible to the user so that they can you know they can find them easily and join them. And we also made some like you know changes uh, into the community section where you can you can feature sub. Uh, spaces or you can feature rooms so for example if you're hosting scene yourself you can feature your main space into the app and then whenever your user will open the uh, explore community section they will see your your space on the top so so you will get all the users directed to your spaces is it based on the directory feature of matrix yeah the the directory feature the room comes from the directory feature, but we are just arranging them into the spaces or rooms category. And we also added the option of, of making feature rooms or feature spaces. Um, so in, in the previous versions of Cine, um, to add a space to the to the left bar, um, the user had to pin the space manually. Um, and I think you touched a bit on the answer um, when we were talking about space flattening. So it used to be a conscious choice by Cine's team to let the user manually pin the space in that bar and not do it for the user. With Cine4, there is auto pinning for the spaces. So can you tell us how it works and why now there is auto pinning while there wasn't auto pinning before? Yeah, the, the, the same reason for which we, we flattened the spaces. We saw that many users, you know, they wanted to see all the spaces in the sidebar. Nobody wants to go and manually, manually pull all the, pin all the spaces to the sidebar. So we thought of why not just pin all the spaces into the sidebar. So, uh, so now we don't have the pinning option for like main spaces, but you can still pin the subspaces if you want. Like if I want, uh, you know, the chat client space inside Matrix community, much more using. So I can just pin it to the my sidebar, and I also have the Matrix community as my main space in the sidebar. So I can have both of those. You know, that client and metrics community. But uh, now you can, you know, a lot of users will say that, you know, I have joined multiple spaces. I don't use all of them, why they are all in my sidebar. So we have added an option to folder them. So you can just, you know, put all the extra noise spaces into the folder and you can just forget about them and focus on the main spaces you want. So let's move on to the second topic uh, of things I really love uh, that you are doing in Cine. And this is very recent. This is the notification center, uh, also called the inbox, I believe, inside Cine itself. Uh, I'm going to let you describe what the notification center is. Yeah, so, so this is, you know, this feature has been, you know, most for, for a long time in our, uh, in our priority. Uh, we wanted to have in a place where you, you just don't have to go to every room and search for the pings where you got ping, or where where the the keyword that you are looking for is you know is being uh, talked about. So we we added this option of uh, inbox where you can see all of the highlights or all of the all of the notifications that are related that you opted to see. Uh, for example, you want to see you have already added in your uh, notification setting that you want to see anything that relates to Cine or anyone that pings you or, or anything uh, like uh, into the into a certain room, you want to see all the messages. So all of those that you prefer will now show under the under the notification uh, option in the on inbox. And we kind of wanted to have a single place for all of all of the 
incoming request. So all of the notifications are there. All of the invites that you get for the joining the space and rooms, all of them are there as well. And uh, we are also thinking to have like when when you uh, stone a room, you you don't know where it where it's gone. So we we might want to pin that that into there as well, so you can see that this room got tombstone and I can join it from here now. Okay, very cool. So you said this was uh, this has been a priority for you for long. Uh, I know at least another client, um, Fractal, the client for GNOME, they had a mock-up for this and they did not implement it yet. Uh, so what you implemented is very close to what is on the mock-up. Uh, and I think after trying it, that it works really, really well. Uh, did you have to bring any changes to the matrix specification to make it happen or was everything ready in place to let you implement that? Actually, we, we didn't have to make any like changes, big changes to the matrix specification. It's all like notification API that is in the spec already. And we all, you know, just the complexity was in just implementing how we could show on the client side the better version of notification API. So but yeah, that's all like complexity on the client side. There's no, uh, nothing new needed on the spec level. Okay, very cool. Uh, but um, do you have ideas to improve it further? Uh, I'm thinking, for example, about clearing the inbox when the notification is read, because I really like to have for email, for example, uh, the zero inbox principle, where if your inbox is empty, you have nothing to do. And whenever you receive something, you have something to do. Today, it's not possible with uh, Cine's notification center because you see all the notifications you uh, you have ever received. Um, so is this something that you are considering for a further version? And would that require specification changes? Yeah, we are definitely thinking about improving this, this much, much, uh, much more. You know, we can implement the clearing the notification on the client side as well. But, but if we have features like, you know, Unread status of uh, like special rooms in the in the notification spec, so we can implement that more effectively, and don't have to make complex code on the client side. Yeah, so we we definitely can improve the spec on this by adding more of more option on on having uh, unread unread uh, notifications inside one call or something something like that. So. Or, or something like uh, having a group notification for a single space or a group notification for a uh, sub subspaces or things like that. Yeah, these can be you know improved on the spec on the spec level, but but clearing the uh, inbox can be done on the on the client side as well. Mm -hmm. With the limitation that clearing things on the client side would make it if you have several instances of the clients, yeah. you, you wouldn't see it on, on yeah, all the yeah. instances. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Uh, do, do you have other plans for the future beyond the the inbox or anything else? Uh, is there anything you can reveal that's uh, things that you want to work on? Well, uh, our roadmap is public on the GitHub. <laughs> we we update it really, uh, really well and very frequently. Uh, in the upcoming upcoming releases, we are thinking to add translations into the Cine so that it is more accessible to, to a different language group. Uh, we want to add one-to-one -one call support and test out how the calls gonna work in the Cine. And we also uh, thinking to add basic thread support in the upcoming feature. Okay, so Cine is an open source project. Uh, open source is all about collaboration. So I think help is welcome. Um, he, he, are you looking for help? Is is uh, are you looking for new developers to help you? Are there technical writers for the docs that would be welcome? Designers to lend you a hand somewhere? Yeah, definitely. Everyone is welcomed. And one of the reasons for converting all all of the code to the TypeScript was to make the contribution easy for the for the out. Uh, for the other developers, and because of because of which we had to hold a lot of the PS that are that are already opened by other people, and we are really sorry for that because we needed the code code, code in the better shape before we start merging all of those. So yeah, we definitely looking for people to help. We are also in the process of setting translation to the Cine, so we are looking for the volunteers who want to who want to kind of uh, oversee a particular language. So yeah, everybody welcome for the support.
Okay, and let's say I'm an organization and I want to use Cine in my deployment, but I want to get um, corporate support or that sort of thing. Are you open to corporate sponsorship or that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, we haven't done kind of a corporate support thing because we are not a company. We are, we are just individuals uh, who wanted to make stuff and doing it. But definitely, there are a few companies that sponsored us via the GitHub sponsored and Open Collective. And there are, you know, other people's amazing community that is supporting us with the, with the donations as well. So we welcome everybody, if any corporate uh, company want to support us, they are welcome. But we haven't really have those, you know, options of having a support mechanism for, mm. for a company. Okay. Uh, is there anything we forgot to mention that you would like to let the Matrix community know about? Uh, I think that that's all for the for the Cine before, but more things are coming in the future, and hopefully we will talk again. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you around Matrix Live. Thank you.